In today's competitive job market, upskilling is more important than ever. It's also important to know what are the trending skills in today's market and skill yourself in them to land a job that will give you the life you want. Today on our podcast, we have Prashun Shetty, the founder of Tax Skills, a platform dedicated to helping you reach your full potential and get a better position in your work life. Today, we will un- try to understand the market, which is very complicated nowadays and understand how young individuals or the people who are working in corporates can level up and make a better future. I wanted to ask you, uh, you were working in PwC and I'm pretty sure that you had a good package and uh, starting tag skills might take a lot of courage for a lot of people. And I wanted to ask you what made you think that tag skills will be your future? That's true that Nitin, uh, whatever you're saying about the package wise, if you get into any big four with the experience of eight or 10 years experience, right? they will be paying very good uh, salary. So taking up this tax skills startup company to take uh, like to next level is kind of a, a risk only because I already taken risk from a from a manufacturing side to I moved to IT. It was a, one of the risk and I did not find much risk. I feel where I found little challenges about the the salary where I have to balance after joining here. The first thing, then about I had a kind of a confusion that whether people will respect me after coming out from the PwC and joining the startup company and reach a customer or maybe requirements what I'm looking for. But I, I got a really good uh, uh, good feedback kind of a, and uh, appreciation and I got motivated in, within a three months of time. And even I had a mind in a mind that. So if I something if something goes wrong also, there's an opportunity I can go back to IT again. That that I had in mind. So yeah, already it's uh, six months going on now uh, into our tax skills. So I feel it's good. And even a daily basis, I, I am more active compared to a, 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 where I was working in a company, right? Uh, every day I uh, think about what best can be done, what strategies can be ha- uh, managed to handle uh, such requirements. Yeah, that's a really interesting journey. And even I inspired with a uh, couple of uh, start, startup owners, founders, they are from my native only, from Udupi, Karkala. So uh, his name is Sharon Hegde, One Person Club. So I used to follow his videos and his uh, success stories and that inspired and yeah, it, it could I am able to do it better when I see someone is of my age or maybe younger than me, they are doing great. So yeah, I took it. If I want to join Tax Skills or any other company, I would see what are the other people who have done it or who have reached on top of the level. So the question is in today's uh, world where the careers are changing a lot, I want to ask, are there any particular individuals who have transformed their uh, career life through Tax Skills? Any examples of any individuals who have joined Tax Skills and made a career change? Definitely, there are 120 plus uh, career change happened in the last three years. Okay, 120 plus, it's a huge number, I can say. And it's not just we have trained and left them, you know, just worked on them and until they get placed in a companies. Okay, and more than 35 plus companies, our alumni are working. So in that few couple of uh, stories, I would like to add here, maybe short. Okay, uh, where someone is not from a definitely a from a not not from IT background and they're working in a design field and someone is working in a construction site where the COVID hits right like most of the jobs uh, they lost job and almost a year they're at home and they used all the PF and all to survive right so that was a tough time for everyone so that's a time where I put my whole and soul effort to make them transition from a, a different role to a, a consulting site. And they joined Infosys, Accenture, Capgemini, LNT, Mindtree, and even they joined a big four companies too. Okay, so they did not say anything uh, lie to a organization. They just mentioned about their experience, and uh, they put a uh, tax skills six months of uh, real time experience shared by our team. And they have, even I was coaching, mentoring, and from that they got a transition. There. So yeah, that's a way many uh, moved from a different area to a IT consulting side yeah so that's a, a good thing I, I can see like from last three to four years we are working hard on the same year one of my question is tech industry offers both uh, coding and non-coding yeah. if i'm not wrong coding and non-coding yeah. let's say if an in, uh, individual have its own strengths and interest and how can they assess and understand whether to take a particular course or not if someone is not interested about coding straight away they'll say Prashun, i don't want to take into get into uh, coding because even I start today, yeah, I may get salary from them from the organization level, 
but I'm not happy to continue because I have experienced in a, in a uh, like after college password, most of the people will be joining company as a coding background, uh, not like from not coding background, but just join a company just for salary. Mm -hmm. And few moved from a coding to non-coding also after talking to me and talking our team. That's a one story. And we will directly uh, convey to uh, aspirants or maybe students or maybe working professionals. So IT means not only coding. IT have a multiple verticals, mm -hmm. like business development verticals, consulting vertical, advisory verticals, right? Different verticals are there in every IT companies, okay? So SAP is the one of the ERP tool. If someone know about SAP or not even know about SAP, we are the right partner for them to educate them. Maybe it takes two months, three months time to understand the technology. And it doesn't have, a, like it, it will have a coding separate, they can learn that is not for a, uh, non-coding background so they can take us as a functional consultant role functional consultant role which I led like I was working since 2015 to 2024 right as a as a uh, IT side I worked on more on the functional process where I used to give a solution to the customer who is looking for a SAP application to be implemented so it, it involves more about the non-function uh, non-coding things it's more about the functional business process if someone is particularly looking for a coding then definitely SAP has a coding uh, uh, side also mm -hmm. the the every application has a coding right you know right so it will have a uh, ABAP coding which uh, coding background people can take instead of just going with the Java .NET or maybe a other coding they can just pick it, pick it up ABAP and they can take this particular uh, thing and they can a lot of Indians uh, don't want to relocate including me and uh, they want to upgrade their career as well how tag skills help these people to uh, level up the most of the organizations are looking for a re relocation like three, four years back. But after COVID, it, it's, it got changed. Trend has got changed and more into now hybrid. And few organizations are asking to come down to office because that's the only option they have like to talk to a customer. So in SAP technology or SAP consulting side, I have seen there are lots of freelancing opportunities. If someone has a six to eight years experience into a technology or IT side, so they wish to not to relocate anywhere. I work from home and I have a one connection. He is just sitting at his hometown called Puttu Romani. So he's a 20 years experience uh, in, the, in the technology and he's managing many projects now today. As an individual, no branding, just a person who is taking projects from everywhere, from anywhere and he's choosing which project is good for him and he's working on the same. So without relocation, without moving anywhere, you can manage to handle such requirements. But for a pressure, it is difficult, I can say openly, because uh, for pressures, they definitely company will ask for relocate sometime. If they don't wish to relocate and they can look for a company or overall okay with the remote. And even we are hiring today, most of the resources to work from a remotely, right? Never like we are not asked to come down to Bangalore office and work here, no. Because it will save their time too. And even the expenses we are investing on the space, right? So they manage everything at home only. So. So, and even one more thing I want to add, even many are looking for moving out of India, right? So that also can be awarded. So if you stay in India in this technology, you will have a very good amount of money or income which you're looking for. And in this technology, the organization only will send for three, four weeks to other country to check the requirement what they're looking for business. So every country, they can even travel as a kind of trip, if you take if you take a trip, right, Europe trip and all, it will take eight to ten lakhs minimum. Mm -hmm. But with that, uh, company will take care of all that traveling expenses, everything with the project. Yeah. So moving from a non-technical background to IT field can be challenging. So how tax skills help these individuals to understand and uh, make sure that they are making the right decision? This is the right question because most of the non-technical people will have a scare. Uh, they scared to take new things, right? Even I was. Uh, eight years back or nine years back and I, I couldn't uh, take a decision very quickly but now I take decision very quickly because of the experience which I have gone through it so what I suggest for non-technical background uh, people are looking for IT so don't get influenced with the uh, someone's success first thing I will suggest here so look at your ability whether you can take this extra uh, step like to take up any extra skill or maybe module or maybe SAP related to technology or any any ERP or any IT skill they want to take, firstly, they should analyze whether it is possible for them to first learn it. After learning, whether they are able to face the client or not, interview uh, preparation part. So they have to make a proper plan sitting with us. Like in every 
individual come with a non technical background we will explain them what is the difference of non technical and it what are the activity you should you should know if you don't know how to write a, a mail drafting a mail to a customer in a in a proper way then it is difficult for the uh, individual to start an it company because in a non it normally they will manage with the paperwork or maybe they just talk verbally they manage and there will be a few mails to write but in a it it's more about digital right so they should know a couple of tools also not only one or two tools five six tools will be used in it side so everything they should adopt it in a short time and it takes some time so for every every individual who is moving uh, looking for non it to it so i suggest take your little time to understand what is basics of what exist in the google go to youtube or any uh, online platform which will give a free videos just watch it get get it more analyze the knowledge of what is what or what is what that after they get into a uh, training form or maybe the e learning platform to uh, uh, consider right that is always good because it will have a definitely a cushion like in the sense even as a company we allow to take such a requirement and they also cope up with this with the requirement what they are looking for and it it will help us to work on the requirement and make them from non technical to a it side from what study backgrounds can uh, somebody uh, get into consulting or uh, let's say if they are doing the consulting thing from tax skills uh, will there be any limitations uh, no no because uh, any background any education background they can pick it up because if they are interested to work on the consulting the more focus they should have on the business knowledge imagine a company i'll take any company like mrf or honeywell or shell boeing or any any product based company if you list out there are 500 fortune companies are there right so every companies are implementing applications right maybe ariba kupa or salesforce sap zoho or any erp applications okay so anyone from mba background who is from a finance background right so they can definitely look into finance applications okay so instead of just thinking about i have done uh, mba so i'll get job no it's difficult for mba background also nowadays to get job so what they can do so mba finance team can uh, mba finance background uh, uh, student can learn sap as for hana fico right or oracle finance Uh, module they can learn and if they know something about application so if they uh, showcase in the resume instead of going with a fresher mba with a skill of any application knowledge of 3 to 6 months it is easy for them to get a job mba background mba finance or mba marketing mba supply chain so they can choose respective applications for their ed- along with the education right and if they started during the college time only it's good after they pass out also they can take any additional skill which is relevant to their Uh, education background always they can switch to a company with that and even engineering background also can take up any requ- any uh, skill immediately and they can switch into the company so because most of the companies nowadays asking uh, prashun just you train 3 to 6 months for all freshers because they will be okay to start with a package of 3 lakh 4 lakh indian currency right so if they look into a experienced person they will be asking like 8 10 12 15 lakhs package is difficult for them to manage some of the projects uh, where the budget is not really good right so they can definitely hire who is trained by a particular organization maybe i'm not talking about only tax skills any any uh, online platform or maybe a companies or organization who is working on real time uh, knowledge sharing then any stream education background they can learn and they can take this experience and they can look for a job so job is the uh, one of the toughest uh, now like people are not able to get a job because every year lakhs of lakhs of people are coming out from the college everyone are like educated nowadays right so not like uh, 10 years back it was not like that i i have seen also someone learned sap 20 years back they all moved to usa europe all the other country because that time it was difficult to find out a such uh, a, a skilled uh, resource but nowadays it's not like that if you know much also it difficult to handle the requirement of a job right yeah any stream can take up uh, this technology skills what we are uh, sharing or in case if they find we don't have such skills we will be rooting into some other organizations too so we'll say this is the organizations they are good you can pick it up pick up this technology which we are not able to uh, uh, like take up right so we will suggest some of the good organization who can take a uh, training uh, skills sharing uh, yeah. Yeah, platform i can say so there are a lot of courses out there like multiple platforms this around and sometimes it can be overwhelming to which course to choose from right. 
can you give us some specific uh, relevant job market related uh, tax skill courses which will be helping these people out definitely uh, as of now we are focused more about erp we have not added more courses at this moment because we want to streamline more into a uh, erp courses only because if you see there are many coding platforms are there very famous platform we don't want to compete with that organization level also so we want to compete with ourselves only what we have today and we can propose in erp there are many modules are there so even most of the freshers like uh, they don't know about what is metal management what is plant maintenance what is production planning what is finance and controlling what is ewm extended warehouse management then tm project system like that there are many modules sales and distribution multiple modules are there in application okay so even they take one module knowledge also if they deep dive into that particular module then from that they get a lot of knowledge from a uh, from our team if they put a, into the resume and just try for an opportunity in the market like there will be sap analyst role will be there sap associate role will be there there are different roles are there in the market not only sap if they look for a business analyst role okay they should know at least application knowledge where they can talk to a customer gather all the informations then they can give it to a, a designer or maybe who is going to work on the design and development of application right so they can map and they can do the configurations and all so it's all about how you want to uh, look for an opportunity in the market so accordingly we will be proposing the courses so as of now we have a uh, eight courses limited courses we have so in that only we will propose who is eligible to take up that uh, courses so maybe uh, another 2 3 years down the line we will be adding a uh, trending courses which is really required as per the market so we analyze the market which uh, technology has more opportunity more job opportunity that courses we will add so we will try try to tra train all the freshers to learn that technology along with the other small maybe the other tools or maybe soft skills or maybe other application they can learn because see if you take any company one company will have a multiple applications it's not like one application so integrate with, between sales uh, team to a, like uh, one customer is ordering a product okay from that customer to this customer who is going to supply the product right so sales force is one application from sales force they will raise a order it will come to sap so it's it's called integration right sales force is one application and it will come to a sap so it it will generate one sales order here because they are looking for a requirement from here you will be managing to handle production activity then again you purchase a material from a supplier because all the production activity cannot be managed in internally you procure some material from the supplier then supplier will have a ariba tool because they cannot afford to go with a high uh, uh, costly application ariba is like a reasonable cost they can implement so sales force sap ariba right like this multiple applications they deal and every day basis so most of the freshers are not aware about all these applications are there in the company so they never try to learn any application so it is difficult for them to uh, get into the company level also so this is the awareness we are giving and we are adding respective courses to the candidates to learn yeah. and working professionals also can take up a high end uh, courses which is required for them if they don't want to go with the basic courses yeah, we have a high end courses advanced courses with the real time project experience and even they can take a job guaranteed opportunity option 2 where they can pay one month salary after the job even after we place them such options also we have it, it depends on the requirement requirement yeah so that was prashun shetty founder of tax skills and uh, we understood a lot of things that what a person from a non it background can get into and what all opportunities you have if you join tax skills and understand all the learnings which they are giving so better learn from the master Mr. Prashant Shetty, thank you so much thank, for coming. Thank on. you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Sir.